Hey everybody, Paul Craft here, and my goal with these videos is to give uh, give you guys a little snippet of some of the retail trends and, and landscape here in Japan. So um, I hope you're enjoying this. Today I'm going to talk to you about Lawson convenience stores. Uh, Lawson is the number three convenience store chain in Japan. Thus, the number three convenience store chain in the world with about 14,100 stores or so. Like other retailers in Japan, there's a very strong link to one of the top trading companies. And with Lawson, it's Mitsubishi. So Mitsubishi Trading, Mitsubishi Foods, Mitsubishi Shokuhin, Mitsubishi Fashion, etc., are deeply embedded inside Lawson. And in general, uh, Mitsubishi gives more guidance to Lawson stores about what's on the shelf, where to place it, what's the right assortment. And that means that going into Lawson's uh, are a little more consistent than their rivals, 7-Eleven and, 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 and number two, Family Mart. Over the years, Lawson has differentiated themselves in many ways, but they have really focused on baked goods. So roll cakes, cream puffs, uh, donuts, etc., coffee is, is what they focused on. And most recently, they've been sort of to use a McDonald's term, supersizing, so and, and adding even extra value. So about three three months ago, they came out with rich cannolis from from Lawson, and uh, I thought cannolis were rich enough, quite frankly. But in this case, um, but they came out with extra rich cannolis. They sold 10, 10 million of them in in two months, a, a huge hit. And they, they really sort of got on the bandwagon with this supersizing. So they came out with something called Morisugi Challenge, which is their challenge to give their customers more and more, uh, you know, of a different ingredient or more frosting or more filling or, or what have you. Um, they're all, this is a very, very competitive market space. And besides their differentiation, you know, Mitsubishi has been trying to grow the footprint. They've been number three and spaces, space and locations are really, really competitive. Uh, so they tried to purchase Ministop, which is the number four chain, and Ministop is owned by Eon, which is the single largest grocery supermarket retailer in Japan. They have about two. Ministop has about two thousand stores, and Mitsubishi tried to purchase those stores and rebrand them, but they were rebuffed. And I guess coincidentally, um, what happened is Mitsubishi then sold some of their cross shareholdings. And Eon was a little offended by that. So um, in the world where makers and manufacturers are all lined up with the retailers and, and wholesalers, this made it a little difficult for sort of people in the Mitsubishi team to compete in, in Eon stores. But that, that, that seems to have calmed down right now uh, in, the, in the past few years. That seems to have been put, put behind it. Mitsubishi Lawson did purchase 200 Poplar stores, which is a small a small regional chain, and those are being rebranded. But probably another uh, piece of drama over the years has been around Muji. So you might know uh, Muji Rushi Shohin. So they're they're now uh, ubiquitous stores that have no they're quite quite good quality, but there's no branding of their clothes. Or now they do food housewares. Um, uh, office supplies and things like that and Muji used to have little sections inside rival family mart stores the, the, the rival to Lawson and um, that was fine because uh, you know f uh, family mart was a separate company and and Mitsubishi actually everything from the food to the clothes to everything was was heavily involved in Muji's business but then uh, Family Mart was purchased by Itochu, which is a big rival to Mitsubishi, and therefore Mitsubishi couldn't really stand the fact that their products were, you know, were providing profits for their rival Itochu. So a few years ago, they pulled out of Muji, of they pulled out of Family Mart stores, and has since a couple years ago put reintroduced them, reintroduced Muji into convenience stores in Lawson. So today, uh, that has been very, very successful, and they've been expanding that, um, and they are expanding to over 500 items available to be put in Lawson stores. Again, everything from 
t-shirts to socks to face masks to food um, you know office supplies and things like that so they're gonna have 500 SKUs and they're gonna put them in 9,500 of the 14,000 stores so that's uh, that's going very well for them so look for that uh, as everyone tries to differentiate and finally um, you'll I think this is probably worth worth a separate a separate video but uh, Lawson which is 50 or 60 percent owned by Mitsubishi Lawson also owns the number one import grocer called Seijo Ishii and they tried to take Seijo Ishii uh, try to take that spin that out and take it public but that didn't work but the interesting thing is with only 200 stores in the year 2020, Seijo Ishii made up 30% of all profits for Lawson. So 200 stores, 30% of the profit uh, out of 14,000 store chains. So that was very interesting. A topic for another video. But um, I hope you get something out of this and let me know what you think. Thanks.